Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Spark. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about RDD. So in the previous video, I've introduced you to the world of Apache Spark. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the world of RDD. So what is RDD? Let's find out. So what is RDD? Guys, it's one of the uh, frequently asked question, right? When we start working with Apache Spark, the very first thing that we encounter is RDD. So RDD got its name from this research paper, which I'm currently showing you. Uh, it got uh, published, I guess, one decade back by the uh, M. Zaharia and his team. So guys, they have named RDD as Resilient Distributed Data Sets. So RDD is just an abbreviation. Okay, its full form is Resilient Distributed Data Sets. So let's find out what it means. So RDD or Resilient Distributed Data Set is a primary data abstraction or we also say like it's a fundamental data structure of Apache Spark. Resilient meaning is fault tolerant, right? Distributed means things got distributed. The, the data will be stored uh, on multiple nodes in a cluster. So it's a primary data abstraction in Apache Spark and core of Spark. It's also considered as core of Spark because everything that we are seeing today in Spark, whether it's data frame, data set, whether graphics all got derived from RDD. So it has a base for all the upcoming data structures, right? So RDD is a resilient and distributed collection of records. As the name suggests, it's a resilient, means fault tolerant. What it means, guys, uh, uh, RDD has the capability to recompute itself if one of the uh, node fails, right? It, it, it's able to recompute itself, all right? So it is helping us in saving the data. So there'll be no data loss. All right, and the things will be uh, distributed across multiple nodes. Uh, the distribution and replication, it's not a new thing for big data world. Uh, it's there since the evolution of Hadoop. In the Hadoop also, we also talk about uh, the distribution replication factor and all. So it's not a new thing, right? It's common among the big data frameworks. So what's the advantage we are getting? Guys, with the RDD, the creators of Spark uh, actually managed to hide data partitioning and distribution. The thing is like uh, being an end user, you don't want to get involved with all the uh, behind the scenes details. We are more, you're more focused and you're more concerned with processing of a data than with how the data is gonna, uh, gonna process behind the scenes. So all the complexity of the code, the data partitioning, distribution is been hidden from a user. So everything got hidden behind the scenes so that you can you can focus on your uh, major or primary task is to process the data, all right? So it has three keywords, resilient, distributed data set. As I've already suggested, it's resilient, uh, it's called fault tolerant, distributed, things got distributed, right, or across multiple nodes, all right? Then we got data set means a collection of partitioned data. So data can be of uh, JSON, uh, TXT, CSV, Parquet, right? So what are different features of RDD? First is in memory. The data inside RDD uh, will be stayed in the memory uh, as long and as much as possible, right? Next is immutable. So immutable means data can't be changed. What it means, uh, once we create a RDD, let's suppose I'm creating a RDD, so then it's called parent RDD and so what is what is allowed in this case that you can have the transformations okay but the original rdd it can't be changed all right so but we can have some transformations it means immutable it can't be changed the original one the parent one all right lazy evaluation one of the uh, important feature uh, all the operations that you perform on rdd are lazily evaluated till the time action is called right so lazy evaluation means delaying the computation until and unless it is actually required. Uh, we also talk about lazy evaluation in the case of Scala's uh, streams, right, which is also called as lazy list. So it's not a new thing. Parallel, as the name suggests, the things will be processed in parallel, the data will be processed in parallel. Moving further, guys, uh, the RDD supports two type of operations. One is transformations, one is action. In the layman words, transformation meaning is changing the data's state from one form to another form and will not be getting any result, but it help us in uh, changing data from one form to another form, all right? We have some transformations with the likes of map, flat map, filter, reduce by key. We got actions, what is action? Guys, all the transformations in the RDD are lazily evaluated. 
it means they wait for some action to be called so action are acting like a triggers okay when you call an action then only you'll be get the output you not you don't get any output with the transformations but you get the output with the actions all right so this is how the things works you can see we got a rdd here uh, the first one is called parent rdd means original rdd which can't be changed but it ca it can undergo some transformations that's why you're getting multiple co copies of rdd and it's the never ending process you can see it's the transformations that we are um, working on it map filter and all guys uh, it will be stopped this cycle will be stopped when you call a action so lineage is nothing but the how the child rdd is linked with the parent rdd so it's a called lineage graph so we get a result when you call a action uh, with the help of collect count and all right so this this is how the rdd works so guys i hope uh, with this video i'm able to explain what is rdd but i'll be talking about it in detail in uh, upcoming videos right uh, so feel free to uh, uh, to reach to me right and please do comment how you find this video see you next video guys thank you